All right guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. One of the lasting memories for me about the heyday of CB radio when I was a young kid was the feeling of camaraderie from other people who you met both on the radio and face to face as part of the hobby. Even back in the 80s, I have memories of people only too willing to help each other out, offer advice and tips to those who had questions, and the exchange of equipment and other bits and pieces that went on as part of the hobby. When I got back into CB radio a few years ago, I quickly started to realise that the same was still true today. Before I bought any equipment, I posted a number of questions on the Charlie Tango forum and got a vast number of responses from other people on the forum, offering their advice, tips and experience in helping me get set up again. Even after I managed to get all the bits I needed and foolishly managed to blow up my first rig, it was someone else on YouTube who came back to me via messages to offer his help to me and let me know that he'd spoken to a couple of his radio buddies about getting hold of a replacement radio for me and was prepared to send it on to me completely free of charge, which at the time completely blew me away. It's rare these days that you come across other people that are prepared to spare their time to help others out and rarer still that you would find people who would offer you either their time or something that they own without expecting anything back in return. It seems to me that there is something to do with CB radio that attracts the kind of person who is just this kind of character. And more recently, I've been surprised by a gift that was offered to me by another member of the Charlie Tango community. To explain more, I got a message on Facebook earlier this week from a guy called Stuart, who has the call sign CTX1837, who completely out of the blue contacted me to let me know that he had built a T2LT and was contacting me to ask for my address so he could send it on to me. Now Stuart has his own YouTube channel and has been working to get more subscribers on his channel and one of the things he does to do this is offer giveaways on his channel from time to time. Since he knows his way around a bit of coax, his giveaways normally take the shape of his own T2LT antennas which he constructs himself and offers to his subscribers. Well, he decided that even though I'm already a subscriber to his channel and he knew from my own YouTube videos that I'm planning more trips out this summer to do a bit of portable CB radio activations, that he would send me one of his handcrafted antennas completely free of charge as a special gift to me, since he already knows that I would make good use of it. So after chatting over Facebook for a while, I passed my address to him, and a few days later, his package arrived, and I am now the proud owner of one of his hand-built T2LT antennas. Now that is pretty amazing in itself, but the other thing about this gift Stuart sent me is that it is so much better than the T2LT I normally use when I'm out running portable. First of all, it's built from high quality coax and it's built to a higher than average specification. As an example, have a look at the ballon here. On the antenna that I normally use, the ballon, or choke as it's known, is made up of several turns of the cable. This has to be exactly the right size and the length of the cable used to create the ballon has to be a specific length. So my own antenna is just a series of loops where a Stuart has taken the time to build a proper form to make sure that the choke itself keeps its proper size and dimensions. Not only that, but usually the tail end of the antenna then needs an additional length of coax connected to it via an adapter to then connect it to the radio. Now this works fine in a lot of cases, but does mean that when two lengths of cable are connected, a certain amount of power, or RF, can be lost through the join. So instead of just leaving a short tail to allow another feeder cable to be attached, Stuart has left an additional length of cable underneath the choke, which means you can connect the whole length of the antenna straight into your radio, which obviously means much less risk of any loss of power. As I say, the whole antenna is well built and expertly constructed, and I'm looking forward to getting out soon getting it up on my mast and giving it a good try. In fact, I've got a trip planned tomorrow, so I'm itching to get it up in the air and give it a try. So Stuart, thank you so much for doing this for me and thank you for putting so much effort into building and sending it on to me. Now in return, I put a link to Stuart's channel in this video and I want you all to head over there and subscribe. He's got a bunch of great videos on his channel, so there's a lot of great CB radio activity on his channel to enjoy. If you're unfamiliar with a T2LT, basically it's just a length of standard coax but has to be designed to specific measurements in order that it will work on specific frequencies and obviously what we're interested in is a 27 MHz range, also known as 11 meters, and should also work on the 10 meter band. 
As I say, it needs to be designed with specific dimensions in mind and I'm going to put a link to another video that will take you through the correct sizes and show you someone building the T2LT. But as you can see, part of the antenna itself is left shielded whilst the upper section has had the coax shielding stripped back to expose the dialectic or the core of the coax which means it is then able to emit your radio signal in the same way that a standard half wave or other type of solid CB antenna works. Lastly, at the very tip of the antenna there is a fold which you can move to enable the length of the antenna to either lengthen or shorten as you might need to achieve the right amount of SWR. These types of antennas are ideal for portable CB radio use since they pack down so small and are completely flexible and yet when attached to a mast will give the same kind of reception as a much larger CB radio antenna. So you see a lot of these used by portable CB radio users as well as radio hams on other frequencies. I'm really looking forward to getting this up on my mast and giving it its first try out so I'm keen to get out there tomorrow and get cracking. As I said please head over to Stuart's channel and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again in another YouTube video soon. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and as a thank you to you, particularly if you're new to CB radio or returning to it after many years, I've put together a free information series called The Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more, click the link in the top right corner now. And new for 2018 is my CB radio playlist.